Yeah, sometimes, most of the times, because you will challenge you, you know, every uh, bit, every piece of knowledge you think you have about hunting, and you put them all to work, and sometimes it works out, but a lot of the times it doesn't, you know, just because it's so such a, just a mystical, I'm going to say a mystical, such a, a smart animal uh, to where they don't make many mistakes. When you start a hunt, you don't know what's going to actually happen, even though, no, you're, even though you know they're there, but I mean, a lot of the times you cannot get close enough to them, you know, so they, they, they sometimes they humble you, humble you to the ground, but once you, uh, once you deliver, you know, it's just such a great feeling. Mexico is a place that I've always wanted to hunt. The idea of exploring the country that is fabled in old cowboy songs while chasing an elusive species of deer bring with it an old western nostalgia. And thanks to Sonora's premier outfitters, we got the opportunity to head south of the border to hunt for coos deer. Now a lot of hunting involves glassing, but the extent of glassing that finding deer in the desert involves required a whole new level of patience for us. Did you see it, Joe? Yeah, I think it was a muley. Yeah, he looked big. Yeah, it was a muley. Hmm. That was a good spot, huh, Joe? That was a pretty good spot. While there was a language barrier between ourselves and the guides, hand signals soon had us communicating effectively. And not long after that, we spotted our first coos deer. Just to, right, just to the right of it. Yeah. Above and to the right. Two of them now in the open. Like on top of the rocks or below the on rocks? On top of the rocks. The first, the first level of rocks. I have them in my spot in Scott. Yeah, come take it. She's dead set. Well, we got to Mexico this afternoon. Decided to take a drive out this evening. We're just sitting at the top of this knob. Looking for our first coos deer. We've been finding a couple of them. A bunch of muleys. We just need to start finding bucks. So come back in the two finger draws. This is the one on the right in the shadow. Oh yep, I got it. With as many deer as Rudy and his guides were picking out of the desert landscape, it wasn't long before they found a buck that was worth chasing. But the end of the day was fast approaching, so it was going to be a long haul and we had to go quick to see if we could get a stock on it. Ridge out over and just keep the draw up. I'd hook left here. Yeah, huh? I'd hook left. Yeah, because the wind's blowing. Right?
The desert is a tricky place to hunt. I would range hillsides and they would be way closer than I would have guessed them to be. And that first stalk we went on would be the first of many that would prove to be difficult as the country that you were going towards would change right before your eyes and would be unrecognizable when you actually got there. However, our stalk the next morning had us in a good spot. As we watched this buck enter some thick brush and head around the ridge, it was a frustrating feeling. We couldn't have gotten much closer, and Austin and I both like to keep our shots close, so the distance was more than we like to reach. But aside from the frustration of the hunt, we were getting well accustomed to one of the desert's silent killers, the Choya cactus. This spiny cactus stuck to you like Velcro, and it hurts like heck to get it out. All right. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh. We soon learned that not even the deer were excluded from the annoyance of the Choya. As we were sitting there talking, Austin spotted a buck that was plagued with the desert hitchhiker as well. He was traveling this way. Dude, he's got cactus all over his face. 
see it in the camera. Look at this. Look at him stuck to the side of his face. They're kind of fun to glass them up because you see them enough that it keeps you interested, but they're hard enough to find that it's a challenge. That's all you got. <laughs> Morning. Dude, one thing is for sure though, like watching these guides, like class for deer. I mean, number one, they've spotted way more deer than I probably think I've ever have this entire trip. I mean, they're so efficient at trying to spot deer. Like they'll sit in one spot for 15, 20 minutes, and if they don't see anything, they move on. And they are just, lining out deer, man. Like these three does that we just saw. The only thing I saw was a butt. And, I don't know. What's deer in Spanish? Mule deer's bro. Huh? Bro. Bro is mule deer. You gotta, you gotta roll that R. Yeah, I can <laughs> <laughs> You've got more? Yeah. Where at? See where the shade line is? Yep. Um, and that saguaro cactus? Yep. yep. It's right around there. So go above the cactus? S same elevation as the top of the cactus? Is it those same two we were looking at? No, I'm talking over here, Jeff. Dude, you said the same cactus. Oh, I was talking about this cactus over here. Shade line. I'm on the shade line. What cactus? I don't even know at this point. It's got hella arms. <laughs> it's got hella arms. I'm enlightened. Get out of here. Use English, bro. Okay, it has hella arms. I think I, I mean, I see one with hella arms. Oh, I gotcha. Yep, there's two.
If you have a shot, take it. I don't see him, so... I should. He hasn't moved. Let's shoot him again. What now? He's gone. Where was he standing? You gotta tell me right where he was standing. So, see this, uh... Where, saguaro? Yeah. Okay. Go past the fence post and he was right on the line. Right on the line of the fence post okay. and saguaro. Huh? I, dude, I put it on. Just before the saguaro is 3.30, so you should have been good. Hey, one more grand? Yeah. Three point three. That's Three. Trace on one side. What you got? What you got? Oh, that's him. Oh, that's him. He just went down. There's the other buck there. Is that a good buck? Is that a good buck? That buck standing there, there's a second one, two, dos. Is he good? Yeah, bueno? Macho, bueno? Bueno? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got one round in there. Right camera, camera, camera. Here, 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 here. Here. Oh, thanks. Oh, he's blow us, blow us, blow us. Down low. Going that way. A senorita. Oh, buck. El hippie. Ahí está parado, ahí está parado. No, oh, que está le parado, verga, que está aquí abajo. Te vuelve el gasote, Juan. Como, como muerto. ¡Oh! 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 man. Oh, God, look at this. Yeah. Ah, no. Ah. Dude. <laughs> oh man, I gotta grab my stuff. Bueno? Thank you very much. Bueno? Bueno? Gracias, very much. Gracias. Nati. Double up. Dude. First time I've ever doubled up in my entire life. <gasps> That's awesome. Oh, she's got brow ties are cool. The way it's kind of webbed here. Yeah, man, this has been an awesome trip. Gra Gracias, very much. Thank you. No problem. No problem, my Thank you. Good. Thank you, you, porque boom. <laughs> One shot. Rápido, yeah. yeah. Mexico. Dude, these are messy. These are awesome. Right. This way. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one right there. Mucha señorita. Thank you. We just doubled up on cruise there with two dudes that we don't speak the same language as. With Austin and I doubling up, we were on the hunt for Toby's buck. 
all that glassing and patience culminating in a few minutes of action, and then that very evening we were back to the slow pace of glassing. To me, it seems like after a taste of success, you become more disciplined in your patience, knowing that eventually it's going to pay off. Yeah, I need to talk to my boss real quick about submitting a worker's comp. <laughs> this little number here. Is that new blood? Oh, yeah. That's yours? That's yeah, mine. Well, why'd you go and do that? <laughs> why? Dude, barbed wire, dude. dude. Little blood oh, look sweat. at this. Cheers. And Choya. Ah. <laughs> Not Choya. It's a no go on the worker's car, by the way. But he's gonna come up to the open again, so he's gonna be about. He's got him. He's got him. That bull bumped the deer. Yeah. We were that close. Yeah. You guys were you guys were under 300. The path you took was good, but I think if you were to come up underneath him, you probably would have uh, had him skyline. Wasn't he in the bottom? No, he was in. He, he was on like a really he, he, small knob. He went up on the next ridge. Yeah, and then as soon as that bull spooked him, he took off. He took off that way and then dipped down into a super thick drop. That sucks. When we bumped that bull, I was wondering about that. Yeah, oh, yeah that's exactly what happened. I was just about to eat breakfast, though. I'm hungry. Oh, your heart rate. It's good. I'm a beast, Toby. I'm in shape. <laughs> 20-something. Dude, that's the best you'll cover it all weekend. <laughs> hey, hey. I'm sweating. How about that? We'll say that. Anyways, before I was so rudely interrupted by that deer, I was just going to talk about the Camp Cook breakfast burritos every morning. Did, I mean, we both were. We both. This is this is clutch. Sends you with these out every morning. But it's getting uh, uh, caliente. Cali caliente hot. Calor. Say what? Calor. Calor. Uh, Mexico, España. Calor. Es calor. The temperature. Caliente calor. Uh, oh, calor. I see. I see. After that busted stock, 
We glassed up a good muley and had some good conversations. When the evening rolled around, it was time to sit on another knob and glass some more hillsides. And just like before, that's when things happened fast. Where's he at? He's going down. Hold it. He's going down. He's, he's just to the right. Good shot, Toby. Thank you. Thank Woo! you. <laughs> See that thing tipped over? That was awesome. Dude, I was like, what did I miss? He's like, shoot, shoot, no. shoot, shoot. No, I knew you didn't, I didn't I knew you didn't need to shoot again. Oh, Toby! Look at that box, dude! Monster! Oh, oh man! Hey, kick it, kick it! The fans! Kickers off the sides! Toby, look at that buck! <laughs> Toby, that is a heck of a buck. Dude, you'll never kill another deer, any species, with that much character. No. Never. No, you no, got it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> <Rudy. laughs> That's a good deal. Thank you. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Congrats! Yeah, dude. 283 yards. <laughs> oh, 283. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Man, that's a beautiful deer. Let's go party. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's very rewarding when you see a customer slash friend uh, put one in the ground, you know, so once you deliver, you know, it's just such a great feeling, just like we're having right now. You know, tag, uh, tag three guys out, you know, within two or three, two, two days and a half of the hunt, or three, three days. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that doesn't happen very often. I mean, it does happen, but I mean, it's, it's something special, you know, so thank you guys, you know, for coming and you know, it's a, something that we'll always remember for sure. Yeah. You know, at the risk of getting into my feels a little bit, we've been really lucky with Blue Creek Outdoors to film in in some really cool places. This is our fourth country, Mexico, that we've we've made some videos in and, and spend 
quality time. Hunting is the best way to spend quality time with people that you don't know. You get to know each other fast. You struggle together, you celebrate together, you have despair together, you leave as friends. It doesn't matter where you live, it doesn't matter what language you speak, what color your skin is. I don't know of a better way to bond with, with a variety of people than hunting. The, the hunting aside, I now have friends all over the world that I, that I will hunt with again. If you ever, ever have an opportunity to go to another place and meet different people from another country, another continent, and go hunting with them and spend that type of quality time together, do it. It's so, it's so special that I, I hope I can bring it to life in this video because I can't bring it to life in words. I thank God because this is all, all to him. He made everything that we're looking at right now and all the people that we just hunted with. And I uh, thank him every day for the opportunities that we've had to be able to do these incredible things. And I and thank you for watching and following along with us. And uh, we're gonna do it again and we'll see you on the next one.